These cattle at Deer Run Ranch in Jefferson, Texas are all at the trough eating a waste product from Louisiana sugar mills. What they're all crowded around is bagasse. Well, at first, I always heard over the years that cows wouldn't eat bagasse, and, it, and they said that they just won't eat it. It's, it's like dirt, <laughs> they won't eat it. But after I got it and with his process, they will eat it. No doubt that they will eat it. Robert Schmidt owns Deer Run Ranch. The product to which he's referring is Supreme Gold Plus, an animal feed made from Louisiana bagasse combined with other minerals and nutrients. Mark Walther, CEO of Impact Fusion International, came up with the idea. He and his workers near Napoleonville take bagasse, mix it with his proprietary blend of oils and minerals in this machine, then it compresses it into this huge bale. That bale is then put into another mixer that chops it up and removes all of the lumps. He says the cattle that eat it absorb more protein, and that's what makes it superior to hay or ryegrass. Well, number one, the weight gain they find. They find that uh, the uh, calves are healthier when they're born. The uh, colostrum that they, they receive from the mama cow is healthier. The bags are bigger. I've seen tremendous weight gain. Uh, the calves come out, they're healthy. They bounce around like a bunch of little uh, rubber balls. They just really, really look so much better, the cows do. Their ribs don't show at all. I mean, they just get real fat and plump and happy and sassy. Something Schmidt and Walther say they noticed when feeding Supreme Gold Plus to cattle is the cow patties were firmer and had no smell. Ascension Parish rancher Kenny Acosta noticed that too. The manure doesn't have a smell. I thought that was, you know, some witchcraft that Mark told me at first, but, um, but I noticed it firsthand. Acosta says he fed his cattle the Supreme Gold Plus made from bagasse mixed with feed pellets this past winter. I find they've came through this winter as good as I've ever had cattle come through the winter with this minimum amount of feed. Now it is labor intensive, but I'm a retired person and that's, I enjoy doing it. I think it's super from an agricultural standpoint, from a Louisiana standpoint, to utilize the byproduct of sugarcane for livestock. Warren Harang raises cattle and horses and is involved in the sugarcane industry. I grew up in the sugar industry, in the livestock business, and I understand the parallels, how important one product can be for the next. And we have a tremendous excess of raw crude bagasse. They have so much bagasse down here in South Louisiana and all over the world, and there's no, there's no way to get rid of it. And we're the only solution. We have a way to get rid of it, and it's a natural way to feed our cows and, and horses and, and goats, and it's just a great natural cycle that when they're processing sugarcane, the bagasse, we have a way to get rid of it. Our cows eat it, and it's very healthy to them, and everybody wins. It's a win-win-win situation. If you would like to learn more about Supreme Gold Plus, visit our website at twilatv.org. And Kristen, I can tell you that this is not just a Louisiana issue. You have sugar mills around the world that try to find uses for the bagasse. I mean, it's in Thailand when we were there, we saw how they make cutlery and plates out of it. In, um, in Brazil, it's often used for ethanol production. So there are lots of things that they're trying to find to do with it. We just haven't really found a niche here in Louisiana that works. Farmers are pretty resourceful though. They are, so we're looking forward to what they do next.